Welcome back. A $50,000 donation from the Port of Corpus Christi will soon pave the way for high school students to be trained in a field that is begging for skilled workers. Now the Conrad Blucher Institute at Texas A&M Corpus Christi plans to use the money to get students on the path to a career that most have never even considered. And as 3 News anchor Michael Aspia tells us, it's an area where the pay is high and the workers are few. Hey, Mike. Well, that's right, Rudy. Now, let's be honest here. Not many high schoolers dream about working as a land surveyor. Just doesn't come up that often. But given the number of high paying jobs that right now are going unfilled in an industry that offers long term security, maybe it should. Land surveying has been around for hundreds of years, and it's a skill that is often needed by real estate agents, engineering firms, even the Texas Department of Transportation. And according to the executive director of the Blucher Institute, it's an industry that is desperate for help. The average age of a land surveyor in Texas is 59 years old, right? They, they're going to want to retire soon. And what they're really desperate for are the younger, uh, is the younger generation to learn land surveying, to come in and eventually buy their companies and run their companies. With fewer people enrolling in academic programs for geospatial engineering and land surveying, Smith believes that reversing the trend begins with teaching the skill to teenagers, something the Texas Education Agency has approved. Not only will that involve putting together engineering camps for middle school students, but also an interactive dual credit program for high school students that includes both classroom instruction and time in the field. That would mean getting a degree in only three years after graduation, but Smith says it's not the only option. What we want to do is really give students choices. One is, hey, take the college level credit in high school, get a certificate, go directly to work. The other option is go to work and work on your degree while you're at work. And the third option is, you know, go directly to university, knock that degree out in three years and then go off into the workforce. A win for students and for the industry. All right, so you may wonder why the Port of Corpus Christi would give $50,000 to get a program like this in place. Well, right now, both the port and the city of Corpus Christi, along with San Patricio County and several engineering firms, have jobs posted in this field, some paying close to $100,000. That makes this investment one that should help keep some of our local talent working at home. Quite a few things.